Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm working on sticker designs, which was incredibly enjoyable for me. And I'll be talking more about that and the design in just a second, but I actually have two very quick little announcements. <laughs> if you hear all that scratching in the background, I do have a new cat, which I'm super happy about. She's hanging out with me and keeping me company, but she's being very cute and she's playing with a cardboard box and I don't have the heart to tell her to stop. So if you hear a lot of scratching, that is what it is. Hopefully in the future, I will try to avoid filming these things when she's actually being playful. But moving on to the second point, today is actually the first day of my holiday sale, which is actually a week long sale over at my art shop where everything is 25% off. And every single order made during that week will also get a free sticker. And that free sticker is the sticker design that I, the second one that I designed today. That one will be included in every single order from now until next Wednesday. And I love being able to offer sales. I love getting more art out to you guys. So if you'd like to check that out, there is a link in my description as well as in my end card. And that's my art shop. I will have a few select um, originals. I'll have a few originals that will actually be discounted a little bit more. And a lot of my older pieces, this is the last chance to get them is I'll be taking a lot of them off of the shop after the sale so that I can make room for new and improved artwork. So yeah, don't forget to head over there. I, you don't need a code. It is built into the shop, so you should be able to see those discounts right away when you go to checkout. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into talking about working on these designs. So I recently got a vinyl cutter. So basically a sticker cutter, which meant that I get to design stickers. And I was so excited to be able to work on this. I actually really, I really love working on these vignetted designs where they have really interesting outer contours, the negative shape around it. I realized though, when I started thinking about creating these stickers is that this is something that I used to do a lot more of and I loved it. And it was really up until I took a particular class in college and one of my teachers, and this advice was extremely helpful in me improving pretty much all of my work moving forward. So I am so grateful that I got this advice, but, but the advice was when you're drawing, and he said never, and I don't think never is necessarily true, but he said never draw or never sketch without basically the, dim the dimensions drawn down of your final version. So always sketch within a box or within what your canvas is going to be. And that way you're working on the composition and you're figuring all of those things out, which you would never get if you're just free sketching, which obviously this is intended when you're working on designing for a final piece, but I kind of took it completely everything, everything that I was sketching, I, I always put within the bounds so that I was working on composition, which, which really, like I said, was extremely in instrumental in me getting better at compositions and thinking about the entirety of a piece. So I am so grateful that I got that advice, but I did take it 100%, which means that I stopped doing these these free floating designs that I really loved. And I loved working in this kind of a way. And this is a good reminder that this is something that I really enjoy and being able to have, well, really it's kind of like an excuse, but a reason for me to be able to spend time and an investment on doing these vignetted designs is really exciting for me. I cannot wait to design more stickers and think about the negative spaces around it and create really interesting contours that, is something that I absolutely love designing. It's so exciting for me. So, so this was, again, it was a really, really fun experience. I would definitely recommend that even if you don't have necessarily a sticker cutting system or the capability to make stickers, it's, there are, um, wow, I totally lost my train of thought. There are so many ways that you could think that way. You can either get drawable sticker paper and create your own stickers, which is incredibly fun. I love the idea of having an original piece of artwork as a sticker, or you can just design the shapes for stickers. It's really a lot more liberating than working for a finished piece that has to be bound within a rectangular shape. And, and I found myself thinking a lot more creatively while working on these than, than I have in the past. And I think even just adding a few designs like this where I'm thinking outside of the box, uh, it'll allow me to be able to take that refreshed view of things into all the pieces I'm doing, including ones that are actual completed pieces that do need to be within the defines of a page. And this particular piece, 
went through several color variations like usual with my digital stuff and there's a few points that as I rewatch it I really love it and I kind of wish I left it at that but but I'm trying to work more forward thinking than I might have used to be in the past at one point I probably would have gone back and changed it but but I am really happy with the color palette that it did end up being so what I'm trying to do now is take stock in the mood that I really like out of the different color variations that I see that I didn't end up going with and try to figure out a new design that I can do that can really really embody that look and that idea and that color palette so I try to think more more how can I adapt that into my future ideas how can I make this into a new design and a new thing rather than how can I how can I change what I've already done or should I regret what I did so yeah, I, I do really like some of the versions. Like I said, I like where I have like really dark leaves with the light line work for the leaves themselves. I really like that. But in the end, I couldn't quite come to a perfect marriage between that and the background color that was happening behind her as well. So it didn't quite end up happening in this one. But I, like I said, I'd like to really design a new sticker that, that embodies that or a new piece even i liked the more ghostly feel of it and how there's a stronger contrast so those are things to take note of things that i may not have set out to put in this particular piece but it kind of happened and i can take that and really pay attention to it going forward what do i want my pieces to look like and onto the second design so again this one is the freebie with every single order between now and next wednesday but this guy, I, I knew that I wanted it to feel very, very graphic and almost like a stamp, like a seal of some sort of organization that's just a complete secret and a mystery. And I loved the idea of it being almost like there's this hidden mystery and this hidden story behind this particular sticker. I absolutely love that kind of idea. And I've tried to incorporate it in my other pieces where I put almost like these stamps at the bottom of the artwork. So this is a carrying on of that kind of an idea. I was inspired by old stamps and stamp ideas and stamp shapes. So I for sure I'm going to do more stuff like that with my stickers, stamp stuff, stamps and things that make it feel like there's this mystery behind it. I absolutely love that. I think it's really fascinating to be able to make it feel like there's something more going on outside that piece of work. And I think that's really the direction that I want to go with all of my art. I want everything to feel like there's something beyond it, something it's connected to. And after I was completely done with this design, I actually decided to go back in and enlarge the skull. This is just another testament of it's always important to step back from your pieces, even digital stuff. I was working really up close for most of it. And then when I got to the end, I realized that I didn't really like the proportions of the skull to the triangle. I wanted the skull to be more prominent within it. So I did have to go back in there and carefully find where the layers of the skull is, raise it up, and then I had to fill in some of the gaps that, that were left from the rearrangement. But I'm a lot more happy with that choice and where it ended up being. And I actually like the change in the pupils, his eyes. I wouldn't have done that otherwise, but, and I like both versions, but I do actually end up liking how the final eyes end up looking and the final composition feels a lot more correct for me. So I'm glad that I made that change. It's, I'm trying to pay more attention to that type of thing that I can change and I can influence to make all of my pieces just a little bit better. And I tried to think through the color palettes for these two stickers a little bit more fresh than I normally do. I wanted to find colors that I don't normally gravitate towards or new color palettes that I can include. I have definitely felt like it's time for me to reevaluate how I do color and how I think about color and how I can be more, more unique to what I do and how I can incorporate new, new looks and feels and environmental color palettes. And then I really liked how these two turned out. I end up going with the skull. It's a green smoke with a very pale orange for the background, which I almost never use orange, but I love the look of this. It felt very pumpkin-y, but in a fresh way. And it, it reminded me of certain memories and it made me feel comfortable. And I, I like being able to have color palettes that remind me of something and make me feel something. So, so yeah, I think this was, these two color palettes were a step in the right direction for me, reanalyzing what direction I want to go in the future with my colors. 
And that is it for today. I do have the link down in the description and in the end card that'll take you to my art shop where there's a 25% off sale going on right now, no coupon needed, and all the orders placed between now and Wednesday when it ends next week will get one of these free vinyl stickers in their orders. So yeah, that is it for today. I will see you guys in my next video, which will be on Saturday. So thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye.